An integrated model of the AMCA Mark I had carried out wind tunnel tests at Calspan Corporation in Buffalo, New York, and this model shows some of the design characters of the AMCA Mark I variant, that includes a divertilist supersonic inlet and 3D bump, serpentine air intake, integrated in-flight refueling probe, a retractable advanced infrared search and track sensor on the aircraft's nose, that will later be replaced with distributed aperture system. It also shows a 23mm internal cannon on the left side, directional infrared countermeasure sensor to blind incoming infrared missiles, and a combined pre-cooler and heat exchanger on the midsection. Interestingly, the AMCA will feature internal weapons bay from the beginning, that can carry four medium to long range air-to-air -air missiles internally, or two medium range air-to-air -air missiles and two 500kg smart bombs in a stealth configuration. The former Air Chief Marshal Arup Raha has said, that India must arm its strategic forces command with a bomber squadron of its own, that will be independent of the Indian Air Force. The strategic forces command had suggested few years ago, that it should be allowed to operate 40 Su-30 fighter jets that will be in charge of delivering nuclear payloads independent of the Indian Air Force, but the top brass of the Indian Air Force was strongly against the creation of a separate fleet due to which the Strategic Forces Command is still dependent on the Indian Air Force's Mirage 2000 and Su-30 fighter jets to deliver nuclear payloads. A top Indian national security expert has said, that India might go for the Tu-160 Black Jack bomber from Russia, and India is already developing a hypersonic glide vehicle for nuclear delivery, that will be armed on the Tu-160. The Indian Ministry of Defence has given its approval, for making amendments in the ongoing $7 billion tender for building six new submarines on the Project 75I for the Indian Navy, that would allow the project to move forward. The qualitative requirements of the programme have not been changed, but it will see the removal of the clause for joint and severe liability from the tender. The Indian strategic partner would be held responsible for its work share, and now the foreign partner would only be responsible and liable for its share of work in the project. Officials have said, that there is also a plan for signing a government-to-government -government contract with the country of the foreign partner selected as the lowest bidder in the program, and more than 60% of the worth of project will be invested in the Indian industry. The Indian Navy is currently talking to Germany's to Sankrip Marine Systems and South Korea's Du Wu ship building, while the Spanish shipyard Navantia will give presentations on its capabilities shortly. The Indian Navy has also given a commitment to the Prime Minister's office, that the next line of submarines would be designed in India, and would also be cleared for exports. Images of the new modified Chinese Z-10ME helicopter has emerged that has been selected by Pakistan in January 2022, after the deal for 30 Turkish T-129 helicopters was stuck. The Z-10ME has striking similarities with Boeing's Apache, and weighs about 5,100 kg when empty, and has a range of 1,120 km. It has a 23mm cannon, and four external hardpoints for rocket launchers air-to-air -air missiles including 16 anti-tank missiles. The ISRO had launched its small satellite launch vehicle today, carrying an Earth observation satellite and a student satellite. The first, second and third stages performed normal and separated, but it suffered data loss at the terminal stage, due to which the achieved orbit was less than expected, and both the satellites were injected in an unstable orbit, thus not meeting the overall mission objectives of today's SSLV launch.